Wednesday the 2nd of November and uh, racing came to you from Gravel on the poly track and welcome to the racing blicks where we had eight races carded. So race number one was the start of the exotics. It was the first leg of the bipod. Download the tab goal information app. Maiden plate this over 1400 meters and in race number one, uh, number 11, Malhama. Uh, the Mike Tacock runner came through to win a very good race, getting the better of number three, Gushesha. Gushesha will make her run on the inside, and Malhama, looking for room now with Anton Marcus, will make her run to the outside. Split toward the inside. Henri, the one to beat, 150 to go. Mamzelle L. Malhammer's now starting to bear down on the outside, and Malhammer's coming with a powerful thrust, and that's it. Malhammer going away. Gushesha second, Henri ran third, and carrier fourth. That full result was 11, 3, 10, and 2. Race number one here, the starter reported that uh, Shrike and Miss Ferris were both slow into stride. Flight Club, uh, the first timer, lost one length. Vitney Surgeon, Mamzelle L, cut into left hind and reported coughing was Miss Midas. Then on to race number two, the start of the place accumulator. All to come, Phillies and Mayor 66 handicap. This was over 1,200 meters. And uh, the two principals look to be Icy Spirit and La Diva. And Icy Spirit will make uh, her run towards the outside of the track, coming through to collar La Diva. got a length and a quarter to make up. Miss Brody and Icy Spirit. La Diva comes alive at the 200 meter marker. I see Spirit and Miss Brody's trying to cut them down. But Lardy Bar hit the front. Ibtahaj is on the inside. Lardy Bar in front. I see Spirit's coming late on the outside. Lardy Bar could be claimed because I see Spirit's going to get her. Lardy Bar second. Miss Brody and Asnarak. Oh, that full result, race number two, four, five, two, and eleven. Race number two, uh, here the starter reported that Ibta Hajj and Make uh, My Own Luck were all slow into stride. Miss Brody and Tyrant's Jet were stubborn uh, to load, and Black Oleander lost one length. Vet Resurgent was kept busy online. Nothing of his detective. Trainer Duncan Owls would advise to report back. Summer in the city, nothing of his detective. The same with Tyrant's Jet. And cut into left four was Ibtayaj. On to race number three, which was the start of the pick six. The Saddler's Arms Restaurant merited 74 handicap. This was over 1,200 meters. 101 has come through here. Anton Marcus for Guard Puller, beating number nine, New York State of Mind, and number two, Aramos. They fan across the track. 101 Extreme Outside got his three lengths to hunt down. Victory team now being swallowed up. Panga Panga. 101's coming through on the outside. Hip Hop Dancer, great expectations. New York State of Mind, you're the one. 101 and Aramos on the outside, but be worth 101. Oh, one and Anton Marcus. 101, that's Bullseye. New York State of Mind and Aramouse in photo second and third, and then you're the one. Maybe on the outside, Aramouse might put his. A good win there, Anton Marcus, guard puller, 10, 9, 2, and 8. It got pretty tight for that uh, second position, but the judge had a look at that photo. 9, New York State of Mind. Here, the starter reported that Ocean Drive South was slow into stride. Uh, you're the one and 101 boat losing one length. The Vetney Surgeon Victory Team not striding, uh, sorry, not striding out. Great expectations not striding out left hind. And then in Hip Hop Dancer, abnormal respiratory noise. And uh, that was uh, uh, race number three, the start of the pick six. On to race number four next. Uh, racing, it's a rush. Open, Phillies and Mares, 85 handicap. The distance of 1,800 meters. And in race number four, Lala, who's sitting back in second. She was the class horse in the race. And Dennis Watch gave this a peach of a ride. Lala's traveling in second. She's got her three and a half lengths to make up. Seattle Bell at the 300. Here comes Lala. Coming home confidently on the outside. Mama Sita, Playboy Buddy, but Lala at four and six years burst away. This is the class package, and they're not going to beat Lala. Lala all out to win by two. Playboy Buddy second, Mama Sita, and then Raining Wave. 
Full result, one, six, three, and seven. Race number four, starter reported, raining wave, crackpot, and mamacita, all losing one length. Fetney surgeon had no report. And that was uh, the jackpot done and dusted. On to race number five, then. This was the track and ball gaming, a meritated a 76 handicap. The distance of 2,000 meters now. Olympic power from uh, the Candice Bass Robinson Yard came through to uh, win this race quite well, beating Tanjiro and Born to Rule. Olympic Power tries to progress. Born to Rule comes to the extreme outside rail. Tangero's got this length to make up. Olympic Power could be a threat between them. 150 to go. Olympic Power's coming home powerfully at Born to Rule. Tangero's treading water on the inside. And Olympic Power, with all the power in the world, has got his eyes on the prize. Olympic Power bounded away by two. Tangero second. Born to Rule third. Impact Zone ran fourth. Full results, 6, 2, 3, and 8. Race number 5, the starter reported that Fashion, Dancer, Olympic Power, and King's Approval were all slow into stride, and then Duke's Drift was slow into stride, and thereafter squeezed out. Vitney Surgeon had three reports, Qatar Springs, uh, nothing obvious detected. The same with Class Mondial, and Westchester not striding out left hind. On to race number six. This was the Durban View restaurant. Merit rated 75 divided handicap over 1,600 meters. And uh, this race looked a uh, competitive uh, handicap. And a uh, soldier's code from the Dean Canameyer stable, who was uh, about to tackle McDessey, came through to win a good race and watched this horse's uh, final 100 meters or so, holding off challenges, Golden Fort and Breakfast Club. Argyle Bay looking to run and Elysium Park's on the inside. Argos Jet and Breakfast Club running on. Soldiers Code, the last hundred looking to last. Golden Fort with big strides is coming home. 100 metres left to go. Breakfast Club, Soldiers Code and Golden Fort. Soldiers Fort on the inside. Soldiers Code fought them off. Golden Fort second, Breakfast Club and Argyle Bay. Yeah, one in the board for the Dean Canamea team. They had a number of places prior to this, but two soldiers code coming through to win. Two, six, three, and ten. Race number six, starter just had one report. Son of Silver stood losing eight lengths, and uh, he was the blinker strike, and I think you can draw a line through his effort today. He was hopelessly left. Vetney surgeon reported that hearts are pumping, reported coughing. San Julian Bay coughing as well, and so was Cat Side Slew. Uh, we don't have any stipes reports uh, for the 7th and 8th, but we'll take you through those replays. Race number 7, it's a rush.co.za. This was a merit rate at 90 divided handicap over 1,600 meters. Now, it became a race between two. The two horses in front, number 9, Nicholas, and number 10, 32 squadrons. Let's have a look at this all the way to the line. Head twisted sideways comes out. What a poet lost, Tiger. 32 squadron run. Rhino run. Don Sonny is trying to close in and yes, last tiger up the extreme outside rail looking to button up. 32 squadron. Nicholas comes right back for more. Nicholas is fighting on at 32 squadron. Nicholas puts his head in front from 32 squadron. Nicholas comes back for more from 32 squadron. Nicholas won it. 32 squadron. Run Rhino run. Don Sonny. Well, uh, number nine and Nicholas are uh, beating number 10, 32 squadron. That's the way they crossed the line. But uh, immediately as they got into uh, the parade ring, a uh, hooter was sounded and there was an objection by a stipendy steward on behalf of the second place horse, 32 squadron against the winner, Nicholas. Now we'll have a look at that head on. And uh, you can see Nicholas is uh, to the right of 32 squadron 32 squadron in the red sleeves and the red cap with the blue body and uh, that's eric in guana on nicholas and you can see when uh, nicholas makes his run he shifts out uh shifting 32 squadron uh, to uh, uh the left of the track and uh, the two horses come pretty close uh, they actually touch each other you can see now that uh, Tristan Godden is trying to get his uh, whip out and uh, give his horse uh, a few reminders. Uh, all the while, uh, Nicholas is still shifting out. And uh, that was the objection lodged by the stipendy steward 
on behalf of the second place runner, 32 Squadron, against the winner, number 9, Nicholas. And uh, that objection was upheld. So we had a new result. 10, 32 Squadron beating number 9, Nicholas. And uh, that was the new result for the top two's position after an objection being uh, upheld, uh, lodged by a uh, Stipe Penry Stewart. On to race number eight, closing off the meeting. This was uh, the jackpot quick mix qualified maiden plate over 1,600 meters. Yeah, Calabash was having his first run back from Gelding. The distance looked to be much better for him, but uh, he was uh, always, uh, you know, being pushed all the while by Anton Marcus. He'll make his run towards the outside, but have a look at this performance. Arctic Tion, Andre Nell, Platinum Racing, right towards the inside with Keegan De Mello. Arctic Tion's now warming up on the inside. And here comes Arctic Tion with a good looking challenge. He claims Lion's Den and Vested Interest. Arctic Tion by a half from Vested Interest. That's the way they stayed. Arctic Tion, Vested Interest second. Calabash in a photo with Lion's Den for the minor positions. Calabash only getting into it very late on. Well, he's taken some time to break. He's made an Arctic Tion, but he got the job done coming off a six month break, having his first run in the province for an inform Andre Nell and Platner Racing. And well done to Barony and KZN as well. 1 5 2 was the number that got up for the place accumulator just ahead of number 11, Lions 10. And that was a wrap of our race meeting at uh, Gravel on the Poly Track on Wednesday, the 2nd of November. Big thank you to Sheldon Peters calling all eight races. Of course, Raymond Rogers and uh, his team. We had a short stint from Denver Grantham as well. And uh, let's not forget the hardest working cameraman on course who is none other than Zane. From myself, Dees Dynan, until we meet again, which will be on Friday, TGIF to Gravel. It's Friday. You take care. Salani Gosley.